foremost, I want to say call Halloween. Like a howl by Shem Yahweh Shah. That's all praises the most high God. And name is only begotten son who the world ignorantly called Jesus Christ. Right? You got your brother, your brother. So you got a show. Boy, dog, Thayar. Right. Yeah, I mean, we're here with the family. And we uh fitting to talk about, yeah, I mean, these current events. A lot of current events that's going on today. I mean, uh, today in our time. Not just particularly today, because we just had George Floyd. Um... Uh, situation, you know, the outcome of the case just came out and uh, the white boy, uh, Derek, was found uh, guilty on all three uh, accounts, right? So now we fit and see the chink is going to go down the same way. But just in under 24 hours, a young sister was shot four times, right? I believe four times in the chest by this uh, by this cop in um, Ohio, just in under 24 hours. So they want to say, oh, y'all niggas, y'all think y'all got to win. I mean, and they went and killed this 16-year-old girl in uh, in Ohio. And, and and the thing about it, though, is that what's coming out in the story is that she the one that actually called the cops because she was actually being threatened and fighting somebody. I mean, so she ended up pulling a knife to defend herself, so she called the cops. And when the cops came up, they just seen her with a knife, but she was trying to defend herself. The cops didn't get there yet, and they just, they just opened fire on her, right? And, and, and you know, that's pretty much... A lot that's that's all out that's uh in the story ain't too much uh um um out in it and I I believe uh she had died that she had, yeah. yeah that she had died yeah, yeah. yeah and, but that's that you know it's and then this this is what what's going on this because you know matter of fact get um Esther real quick Esther uh eight and six yeah I mean because like they try to say oh well you know you gotta win. But then they, but then they do this again, just to show what that that there is no one in this uh, society. I got something. For you. Not not for us. So this is the book of Psalms, chapter eighty-two and verse two in the NLT. It says, "How long will you hand down unjust decisions mm -hmm. by favoring the wicked?" I mean, how long? Like how how long will they keep handing? But the thing is that because that they're the judges, they're set up as the princes and the kings of this earth. They're they're setting up these rules and regulations, bro. Get um, Psalm Psalms forty four and eleven. Get it real quick, bro. Oh yeah, yeah. That's a little uh, uh, tricky, but but you can read that, bro. This is the book of Psalms, chapter forty four, verse eleven, in the NLT. You have butchered us like sheep and scattered us among the nations. Right, and this is what the Heavenly Father done. The Heavenly Father done scattered us among these nations, right? And he gave us, right, as, as meat, like lamb, to, the, to be slaughtered, to be slaughtered by these nations. He did this. Why? Because we don't want to keep these law, statutes, and commandments. So he like, hold up. Since y'all don't want to keep my law, statutes, and commandments, like, you know what I mean, I'm going to put y'all in the hand of y'all um, enemy. Right, and y'all keep Esau law. <laughs> that, that, that's what y'all do. Mm -hmm. And y'all actually, y'all blacks and Spanish, y'all y'all do actually a pretty good job for the most part keeping Esau law. Esau say smoking weed is bad. Yeah, you know I mean, N Negroes hide and duck and keep it. E Esau say smoking weed is good. Now everybody got it on flowers, shirts, socks. I seen I seen a grandma had socks with weed print on. It. She, she had <laughs> gray hair. Yeah, you know I mean, but it. Whatever, like, and y'all should know, like, whatever Esau pushing is really not that good for you. You got that, bro? Uh, this is the book of Esther, chapter 8, verse 6. Come on. For how can I endure to see the evil that shall come unto my people? How can I endure? How can I endure to see this evil? It's, 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 it's like, it's, it's, it's kind of uh, bittersweet, like, in a way, because the Lord said that this will happen, you know, and I, and I don't mean, you know, for y'all, you know, that's going to leave the comments on the on the bottom, you know, don't say this. Like, but the Lord wanted the sister to die. I mean, it's hard. It's hard to say. Right. We all lost loved ones. But the Lord wanted them to die. Yeah, you know I mean, but it, it's bittersweet because it's like, you know, we know we on the edge of getting out of here. But at the same time, read that again. This is the book of Esther, chapter 8, verse 6. For how can I endure to see the evil that shall come unto my people? When we going to start doing these commandments? When we going to start doing what we was told to do? Right? When we going to actually pray to the Heavenly Father to forgive our sins and forgive our forefathers' sins? Right? That, that they done trespass against him. Come on. 
Or how can I endure to see the destruction of my kindred? Or how can I endure to just watch CNN and must see NBC and see the destruction of my own kind? Right? That's what's going on. My own kind is being destroyed. Right? Blacks and Hispanics got Hispanics in cages um, down south. But the, the, the thing about it around the borders is that they don't talk about it that much because Dirty Joe is in office. Right? And Trump ain't in office. The so-called bad guy. Trump ain't in office, so now they don't they don't talk about it that, that much. But guess what? Mexicans is still in cages, right? As we speak. I mean, as we speak, the little kids are still in cages. I mean, so it doesn't much matter who, who they are. Now, where are we from? We from Philly. I mean, and Philly tapped out at, at 500 murders uh, last year. If you, uh, I got something. Okay. I got something on that point. It's the Book of Lamentations, chapter 5, verse 7. Our ancestors sinned, but they have died, and we are suffering the punishment they deserve. Right, and we're suffering the punishment that they deserve, right, because they sinned against God, I mean, and they're not. I mean, but we're here, and we got to pay that, that bill. So it's now, it's now it's the time to turn from your sins. And guess what? A lot of this is going to go over your head, but you are your ancestors, right? So y'all, a lot of y'all are the hard-headed ones that was walking in the wilderness with Moses. You know what I mean? So this, now it's the time to repent. I mean, if you were ever called to do it. But um, you, you got that article, bro? Oh, kind. All right, this article, Crime Maps and Stats in the City of Philadelphia. Okay, let me read this part first. Uh, look at uh, how much um, it was in 2021, the end of 2021. Then this is how much murders it was just last year. Year-end homicide victims for the year 2020, 499. Four, it's been 500 murders last year. You know what I mean? Well, most of them being blacks and Hispanics, right? So, not Chicago was the murder city. Now, the murder city is turned into the, the city that's supposed to be known for being brotherly love, right? Where is the love? Where is the love? Like, where the song at? Where the love at? I mean, 500 deaths. Now, let's move it to today's time, right? We in April, which is April 21, April, right? The, yeah. the, the 21st. Huh. So, so now, let's look and see where we're at as far as the homicides in Philly today. Right. Year to date of 2021, as of April 20th, 2021, 11.59 p.m., there were 154 homicides, which is 32% higher than the year before. So the Lord is, so the Lord got the death angel going around America. So a lot of y'all, y'all, y'all talking about 50, 70 more years. I don't want to live 50 more years in this body. I mean, I, I know these brothers don't. Right. I don't want to live 50 more years in this body, man. Right. I mean, 50, 70, 82. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm not, I'm not really trying to trying to stretch out this body. Like, I mean, like that. This, these is chains of darkness. Oh. This is what the Lord was talking about. This is chains of darkness that that we are in, right? So we gotta um, hope and, and 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 press for the prize. The prize is this kingdom that, uh, to come, right? Right. All right. So this is the book of Psalms, chapter 68, verse 20. He that is our God is the God of salvation, and unto Yahweh our power belong the issues from death. Hey, you break this down? Right, exactly. So like you said, 499 bodies last year, the Most High caught every last one of them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he, de he definitely did. He's, he, he, he is the great killer on this earth. God. Right, he's the one that's putting babies to death. Yeah, I mean, why? Because their parents don't want to serve the Lord. Yeah, I mean, like y'all don't want to serve the Lord, so the Lord gonna kill your child. Yeah, I mean, so now you gonna to turn to him? You got some, bro? God, and just before, just to add another point to that, um, yeah, I think my one brought it out uh, early on or something. He, um, everyone that's ever died in the world in history, the Most High killed them. God. So he, he, he's got the most bodies. All these real niggas outside want to talk about, oh, I got bodies. No, the most high got bodies. So read that, uh, mm -hmm. uh, Matthew 24. I got yeah. that. Yeah, I'm talking about it right now. Oh, Matthew snap. 24, yeah. All, all praises. <laughs> That's definitely through the spirit. I ain't even look over. Um, bro, um, start up at, uh, probably start up just, just to go through this just a little bit. Look at, uh, uh, three. Okay. John, this is the book of Matthew, chapter 24, verse 3. 
And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came upon him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be? Right? And what shall be the signs of thy coming and of the end of the world? So we in the same spirit as the disciples. We wanting to, to, to know what's going to happen. What, what's what's, what's going to be the lineup before the end of the world? Uh -huh. The end of what world? The earth? No, the end of Esau kingdom. That's what we're waiting for. The so-called white man. Come on. Come on, verse 4. And Yahweh Shai answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. Verse 5. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. Mm -hmm. Verse 6. And ye shall hear of wars. Shall hear what? Of wars. That's what's going on now. Right? This is all type of wars. How many countries hate America right now? They hate America. And they trying to raise their dollar up. Um, China was doing it. Actually, uh, I got it in another uh, video, but um, China was doing it. Yeah, I mean, uh, dropping the American dollar and upping their dollar, and uh, and damn right they should. Like, why should you uphold my money instead of your own? Come on. God. And you shall hear rumors of war. And you shall hear and you shall hear of wars and of rumors of wars. See that you not be troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. Come on. Verse 7, for nation shall rise against nation. But nation shall rise against nation. That's what's going to happen, right? America, Ukraine. get... Huh? Ukraine versus Russia is about to happen. Like, not while we're bringing out. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah and, that, and, that's, and that's good ready to go down, too. I mean, uh, Ukraine... Ukraine, remember, um, just, just last year, Ukraine was talking about some that there was a lot of uh, Jewish people that was there, and they're going back to Jerusalem, uh -huh. fulfilling Bible prophecy. Uh -huh. That's what they said, um, um, the book of Isaiah, chapter 11. That's what uh -huh. they said that they were fulfilling. And another thing, too, um, I think in Russia it was that America tried to place sanctions on Russia, and then Russia countered and play, was trying to place sanctions on America. So we know there's already tension between them. So rumors of war, and war is definitely going on right now. So this book is definitely coming alive. Right, and that, and that's why we grateful that we in this time. Like, and we're not going around saying, well, you know, maybe not in my lifetime, maybe not in your lifetime, maybe not in your kid's lifetime. We hoping that it's our lifetime, God. right? And fast, too. God. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famine and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. Right, it said nation against nation, and we seeing that. That's God. why they're killing us. These, these are race wars. Right, uh, come on. Verse eight, and these are the beginning of sorrow. And this is just the beginning. Y'all think y'all seeing something? Five hundred deaths in Philly, all this death and murder, bloodshed going on. Right, fifty-two. Before we even did this video, it said a fifty-two-year-old man that's not even calculated. And what the brother just brought out, the numbers. It said a fifty-two-year-old man just got shot in the face uh, in, in Philly. Before we just did the video. Fifty-two. Yeah. Yeah, a 52-year-old man got shot in the face in, in Philly. What, what verse that? Verse 9. Come on. Verse 9. Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted, and shall kill you, and ye shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. And we being hated because we tell the truth. Come on. Verse 10. And then shall many be offended, and shall betray one another, and shall hate one another. Drop in verse 12. Verse 12. And because iniquity shall abound. Right, because sin... It's on a high level on this earth because iniquity shall abound. Come on. The love of many shall wax cold. Because it's so popular to do sin in this world, right? The love of many, people having love, genuine love for each other, they're going to be like, well, you know, fuck it. You know what I mean? Like, right. he, yeah. he, he, he got all this evil hate, malice going out, killing people, and he, he living his best life. I'm trying to do the right thing. Man, the hell with that. I'm going to just be wicked like this nigga. Maybe I'll succeed. That, that's what it says, where it's talking about the love of, of many shall wax cold. Yeah. You know what I mean? But our but our love is, is actually um waxing more firmer for each other, man. For us in the opium. You know what I mean? Because this this like what the Messiah said, our big brother, you know, he 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 gave thanks to Yahweh because he said, For what you gave me. Well, what what did Yahweh give him? His brothers. So he said, you know what I mean, like this was this was a level of comfort he had on the earth. I mean, he gave him brothers. You got something? Come. This is the second Ezra, chapter 15, verse, um, let me start at verse 14. Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. Verse 15, for the sword and their destruction draweth nigh, and one people shall stand up to fight against another with swords in their hands. Right. Verse 16, for there shall be sedition among men. And there shall be sedition amongst men. There shall be 
uh, uprising against mainstream or uprising against the people in power. That's the sedition. Come on. And invading one another. And what? And invading, and invading one, another. one another. And that's what's going to happen. Right? Y'all think like, oh, well, you know, they stopped looting because of Floyd. It's going to be a lot of invading in these, in these last days. Gonna People are going to be hungry. Come right? On. Come on. They shall not regard their kings nor princes. And they're not going to give two dams about Dirty Joe. You know what I mean? About him being for black people. And the course of their actions shall stand in their power. And the course of their actions shall stand in their power. Hold on. It's, it's, one, it's one part in that verse. Uh, uh, Arita, verse 6. Verse 6. Come, this is the book of Second Ezra, chapter 15, verse 6. Mm -hmm. For wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth. For wickedness have reached a high level on this earth. Right? It's a, and, it's, and it's about time the Lord's about to visit this place that he made. Mm -hmm. And he's not going to visit it to give out cookies and milk. Come on. As a matter of fact, let me throw that in chat real quick. Uh, Behold, saith the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world. Mm -hmm. The sword. This what? The sword. The sword is the modern day gun. Right? Come on. Famine, death, and destruction. Death and destruction. It doesn't give. Oh, oh I'm just only going to kill adults. I'm not going to touch kids. The Lord just said death. Death is going to be known in this earth. This is how you're going to know it's close to the end. Come on. Verse 6. For wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and their hurtful works are fulfilled. Come on. Verse 7. Therefore, saith the Lord, I will hold my tongue no longer. Right. And, and we not. And we and, and, and we the, and we the Lord's mouthpiece. God. Right. I mean, we're the Lord's mouthpiece. And we're not holding our tongue no longer. Come on. As touching their wickedness. Come on. Which they profanely commit. Neither will I suffer them in those things in which they have wickedly exercised themselves. The Lord not suffering the wicked to last that long. He he's cutting, he's cutting these niggas' lifetime. There's just no other way to, to, to go about it. Come on. Behold, the innocent and the righteous blood cries unto me, and the souls of the just complain continually. They do what? Complain continually. And we keep complaining. This is why we keep going to the highways and byways continually. Complain about this. This wretched place that we live in, right? Um, drop that. Go back to uh to Matthew. Uh, Matthew. Uh, read uh the iniquity again, verse twelve. Uh, this is book of Matthew, chapter twenty-four, verse twelve. Come on. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. Come on. Verse thirteen. But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. And he who endureth to the end, the same shall be saved. So your past is a liar. Right, you're not saved, right? You won't be in that Christian church and still get hit with a nuclear missile. That's right. I mean that that, that cross on the church ain't gonna save you. Uh -huh. And damn sure Cesare Borgia ain't gonna save you on the on the front part. Right. right. Uh go uh drop down, drop down to uh verse uh uh forty two. God, this is verse forty two. Watch therefore. Do what? Watch therefore. You have to watch what's going on in this world. That's what the Messiah said. This is in red letters. Okay. He said, watch therefore. For you know not what hour your Lord doth come. Come on. Verse 43. For know this, that if the good man of the house had known in what, in what watch the thief will come, he would have watched and would not have suffered his house to be broken up. Verse 44. Therefore, be ye also ready. Do what? Be ye also ready. The Messiah said, be ready. He didn't say, hold up, I'm going to stop smoking weed after 420. He said, be ready today. Come on. For in such an hour as you think not the Son of Man cometh. Come on. Verse 45. Who then is a faithful and wise servant? Who there is a wise and faithful servant? Who 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 is a wise and faithful servant to do the Lord's will? Who Who is there? Oh, you got some? Right. Come on. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 26, verse 41. Watch and pray that ye enter not into temptation, for the spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. Right, and a lot of y'all flesh is weak. This is why the Lord just knocked y'all off. The Lord knocked y'all off even before Jacob trouble. Right, yeah, I mean, well, really, this is kind of like a, a, a breach entry into Jacob trouble. Not nothing. Y'all y'all ain't see nothing yet. Like, I'm talking about, the Bible says that, that he that it's comparing Jacob's trouble saying like that a man grabbing his loins and, 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 and crying and wailing like a woman giving birth. Yeah you know I mean so <laughs> yeah I mean when you start seeing and, and listen and to be honest you won't know who the real thugs is in that day because the, the real the real thugs ain't the ones selling packs 
killing their own people. The real thugs is going to be doing thus say of the Lord, right? right? right. And they're going to put aside they self. That that's going to be the that's going to be that's going to be the real tough guys in them days. And that's why I'm using as the term of uh, thugs, right? The real tough guys of them days is going to be those that's doing thus say of the Lord, right? Not doing their own will because they're not going to be the ones that's sitting there crying, right? Um, if you can get uh Psalms ninety four sixteen, keep going. Psalms, verse uh, verse forty five. Who then is a faithful and wise servant? Who then is a wise and faithful servant, right? Willing to put the heavenly Father first. Come on. Whom his Lord have made ruler over his household. And and the brother was going into the thing like how you said. Who 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 would want to really be a ruler, right? Do y'all just want to um continually be a servant like it says in Jeremiah? Is yeah. Israel a homeborn slave? This what you want? Come on. To give him me in due season. Come on. Verse 46. Blessed is that servant whom his Lord, when he cometh, shall find him so doing. Blessed is that servant who the Lord shall find himself uh, doing. Meaning what? The will of the Lord. Read that real quick. Oh, this is the book of Psalms, chapter 94 and verse 16. Who will protect me from the wicked? Who will stand up for me against evildoers? Who will stand up for the Lord? Who Who is going to stand up for the Lord? Right, everybody want to stand up for Black Lives Matter, but actually, I mean, like, if y'all do uh, critical research and look it up, that Black Lives Matter, they try to push a narrative, and I'll you see this loosely, a narrative that Black Lives Matter is uh, co-founded by three women. But if you do just minor research, you only got to go that deep. You'll see that two of them is lesbians, right? So y'all going around getting the tattoo and going around screaming Black Lives Matter, y'all, y'all, y'all a bunch of fools. Because if y'all if y'all want to have three women, two of them being open lesbians, being y'all leaders, and we have bold leaders like Moses in, the, uh, uh, in front of us leading us, Joshua, right? You have me, brother from a tribe of Ephraim, like leading us. I mean, it's crazy too, because like, you got to leave us, I said Moses. But, you know what I mean? Like lead, leading us to end up uh, now, have two dykes leading us, y'all can have that. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to stick with the leaders the Lord got. That's right. This is verse 47. Verily I say unto you that he shall make him rule over all his good. Make him rule over some. All of his good. Right. They going to be a leader, right, in the, in the kingdom to come, the world to come. Come on. Verse 48. But if, but, but, and if that evil servant shall say in his heart, my Lord delayeth his coming. Come on. Verse 49. And shall begin to smite his fellow servants. And to eat and drink with the drunken, verse 50, the Lord of that servant shall come in a day when he looketh not for him. Right, when you live in your best life, that's when the Lord going to come. Mm -hmm. Just just when you think you got another week, just when you think you got 80 more years, just when you think, you know, hey, man, I'm, I'm comfortable. I, mean, I just got this new place, got this new rib, got this new job. The Lord don't care about none of that. I mean, he care about who's doing. He's, it's like Simon says. Who's doing what Simon said? Right. You know what I mean, who's doing what Yahweh said? He don't he don't care about the stuff that he gave you because he gave it to you. He can take it from you. Right. He, he don't care about that. Keep going. And in an hour that he is not aware of, verse 51, and shall cut him asunder. And shall do what? Cut, cut him, him asunder, asunder. Come on. And appoint him his portion with the hypocrites. And, and peep this real quick, because Kanye West put it in this video, but y'all was too dumbed up. And weed it up to understand this last part. But Kanye West put this in one of his songs. So he was basically proclaiming his own judgment. Which I hope not because he a brother. But hey, if it's the Lord's will. Read that. There shall be weeping. There shall be what? Weeping. Come on. And gnashing of teeth. Hey. You know. Hey. Well, hey. You know. Do thus save the Lord so you can have that shadow of protection over you. I got something. This is the book of 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 and verse 3 in the NLT. When people are saying... Everything is peaceful and secure, then disaster will fall on them as suddenly as a pregnant woman's labor pain begins and there will be no escape. And and, and listen, and y'all and, and if and if y'all been in the operating room and seen your your rib or seen a woman give birth, yeah, I mean you know that it's not it's not a half an hour. Yeah, I mean it's not gonna be twenty minutes. I mean sometimes labor be going on for hours. You know what I mean? So the Lord is going to afflict this world for all the all the evil that reached all the way up to him. It, it, re, it, it, it stacked up that much. You know what I mean? And and no one is really wanting to stand up for the Lord. Mm -hmm. So now, so now he got to destroy this world. 
You know what I mean? The world, this known world. <laughs> Talking about uh, uh, America, and he's going to do so with nuclear missiles. Right. This is the book of Amos, chapter 5, verse 20. Shall the day of the Lord be darkness and not light? Shall the day of the Lord, the day of the Lord shall be darkness. So what are, what are y'all what are y'all talking about, Christians? Clapping your hands, the day of the Lord. The Lord not coming back to save Christian churches. They whorehouses. Right. You know what I mean? Most of them is, is thoughts and smuts in there. Right? Just look at their Instagram page. Right. Come on. Even very dark and no brightness in it. Even very dark and no brightness in it. So listen, y'all, y'all, y'all worshiping that other Messiah that, that that Christ was talking about in Matthew 24. That when he said false messiahs will come, right? False Christ. That's the one that y'all think that's gonna come, right? But he already came. He came when they brought him over here to America, right? That image. You know what I mean? And, and guess what? That's not going to save you, black and Hispanic man. So, you know what I mean? Y'all y'all best bet is to turn to the Lord in, in truth and in fear and in sincerity, right? If you got something else. Um, this is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 4, verse 1. If thou will return, O Israel, saith the Lord, return unto me. And if thou will put away thine abominations God. out of my sight, then shalt thou not remove. And thou shalt swear the Lord liveth in truth and in judgment and in righteousness. The nation shall bless themselves in him, and in him shall they glory. Uh, uh, Luke, Luke 13. Uh, I got some. Okay. First Kings chapter 8, verse 47. But in that land of exile, they might turn to you in repentance and pray. We have sinned, done evil, and acted wickedly. If they turn to you with their whole heart and soul, in the land of their enemies and pray toward the land you gave to their ancestors towards the city you have chosen and towards the temple I have built to honor your name then you will hear their prayers and their petition from heaven where you live and uphold their cause. Con. Forgive your people who have sinned against you. Con. Con. And if you heard the, brother, the part the brother read it, it's when it said listen if they Put away if they stop doing. I mean, it's the Christian church. Y'all lie. You're talking about come as you are. You know, you can be a faggot, and then you know the Lord will take that spirit away from you. You can be a dope dealer. Just come into church. The Lord, the Lord ain't saying that. He's saying leave that life, let that man die, and become a new man. That's what it's talking about about being born again. It's not talking about when you're ready to be born again. That man gotta die. Somebody gotta die. Yeah, you know I mean, so now if you want to stay in that life, you got to die. And and through the spirit, we done brought out uh, the death that the Lord is uh, bringing. You know I mean, but then we started to show you that it's a way to come back. Come. You know I mean, towards the end. So read uh, verse 3. Luke 13 and 3. Come. Come, this is the book of Luke, chapter 13, verse 3. I tell you nay, except you repent. Except you what? Except you repent. Except you repent. Except you put away that old man. You put away. The understanding that you learn in America, come on. You shall likewise perish. You shall likewise die, right? If you if you don't put away your sins and abomination before the sight of the Heavenly Father, you shall die. It is just plain and simple. There's no other way around it, right? And if brothers got anything else to add? I was just going to say to that verse, it's so cold that your house shall reiterate two verses down. He says the same okay. thing, word for word, two words down, just to show y'all that you are ahead of New Year's Hispanic Church. Native American people gotta tell y'all more than one so you even get it, and even then it's not a guarantee y'all will get it. If your house shy did it, we don't have to do it too. Come on, gonna get it anyway. Come on, and I just want to say, the Wadi Yahweh for giving us this understanding, because all true understanding comes from you and you alone. Right. And with that one, say, call on you, Yahweh by Shemuel Shah, and death to America. Right. Death to America, my wife, love a ball.